Welcome back guys. I have a super cool S2000 in the shop today. And I always say that a lot, but this car is something special. This belongs to my good friend Brandon that I've known for probably 16 years now. We've been working away on this car in various different uh, configurations for about probably six, seven years. Um, this car is his 2001 Honda S2000, obviously. It is a fully built turbo setup. This, this setup is super impressive, and I think I will let him describe it a bit because I don't think I can do it justice. So Brandon, can we yeah. uh, go through a bit this setup and tell us yeah, a bit sure. about it? Well, maybe we'll start with the engine. So this is... Uh, it's a 2.2 liter, yep. like out of the uh, AP2s. Uh, it's got a dart and sleeve and O-ring block. Uh, it's got CP pistons, stock compression, so just over 11 to 1 uh, with the upgraded wrist pins, uh, 300 wall wrist pins, the biggest ones you can get for these pistons. Okay, and then valve train, still running stock cams? Stock cams, it's got uh, Ferrera Competition Plus everything in it, stock, stock size valves, um, but everything else like the stainless steel valves. So the engine is completely fully built. and the as for the turbo setup, this this turbo is massive. So let's start with the turbo and work our way back. Yeah, so it's a Borg Warner off the shelf uh, S472. Uh, it's got the 87 millimeter turbine wheel, so the bigger wheel, uh, billet compressor wheel, uh, four inch exhaust, straight back, and custom turbo manifold, twin scroll that you put together. Yep, you made this manifold. Yeah, custom and twin scroll manifold. It has the so this, this, this turbo has several different back housing options. It has the smaller, uh, the 91, the smallest twin scroll back housing you can get for this, which helps, helps a bit for the spool. Um, that's fed into a speed factory, thousand horsepower intercooler. And, and you've done all the fabrication, all the welding yep. on this. Yep, correct. So speed factory intercooler. Three and a half inch. Uh, Charge pipe. Charge pipe, K-tuned uh, 90 millimeter throttle body. Skunk 2 race intake manifold. Yeah, and with... the, it's got, uh, the cool thing with this setup is it's a staged injection. So the car has two fuel systems in it. Uh, it has a primary system, which basically runs uh, pump gas 94. And then the secondary uh, rail is ethanol E98. And basically the car only uses uh, the ethanol when it's basically in boost, kind of like an octane on demand setup. So when you're just cruising around, you're just, you're just running on the pump gas only, so. Which, yeah, makes life a lot easier because you. Yeah, like I drove this car for two, three years on race fuel straight and like you, you can't go anywhere. Like you drive it one time up to a car meet and it costs you a hundred dollars in fuel, right? Yeah. And because, the tank is so small, you can't really get any range yeah. out of it. So that was basically why I went this route. You know, you can put five gallons of uh, ethanol in it and pretty much drive it all summer. And uh, basically turnkey and go and have race gas why don't all we, the time. Why don't we go around back and show the fuel system? So there's a eight gallon fuel cell in the trunk right here. And it feeds two. Um, I don't, I don't know if we can that. see it. Uh, it's, it's got dark. two AM380 high pressure pumps that feed that secondary rail. So there's lots of lots of fuel because it is ethanol. And while we're back here, the exhaust is full four inch. So all, all done by you. Yeah. But yeah, and um, the drivetrain's all stock. It's a stock, yeah. It's stock a transmission. It's a stock transmission. It just has upgraded uh, diff mounts, upgraded motor mounts. Um, Which clutch are you running? It's an ACT stage four, just a puck clutch. It's not even bad, like it's not hard to drive. Yeah, it's like, not terrible, yeah. Getting it on the dyno was actually pretty easy. Yeah. Um, this tire setup? It's a uh, Mickey Thompson 26 by 11 and a half, uh, 16 inch rim, so nice sticky tire. Yep, but you don't always run this setup on the street. You usually run like a set of R888s, yeah, right? Yeah, I usually run R888s on it, 255. On, on some stock wheels? Just on the stock wheels, yeah. yeah. And so yeah, this setup, we've been always using AM version or series two. Mm -hmm. And you've been, we've been working away at this forever. This has been a long-term project. It's, we've had it at all, all kinds of different boost levels, all kinds of different power levels, but we wanted to finish it up today, try to max out the three and a half bar map sensor and see what it'll make. Um, technically that's already all done. We, we tuned it today, we finished it up. 
uh, but I didn't do the video because sometimes it, we don't know how it's gonna work out, but it worked out really well. So I'm gonna cut to a, a bunch of the polls that we took, did video of, and then I will show you the results. So let's do that. Hope you guys enjoyed those pulls. Uh, the power that this thing makes is impressive. So we ended up running, I have two graphs up here with two different boost levels that we ended up running. Um, the, the blue line is at 34 pounds of boost and it made 850 horse and 502 torque. And the red line was at 29 pounds of boost and it made 751 and 475 foot pounds of torque. So crazy power out of this setup. Uh, next year, we're gonna push it for more. We're going for, for four digits. We're shooting for a thousand horsepower next year. So anyways, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye now.